Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's having a good day. For today we have a um, comparison of two really popular um, items from Chanel. Uh, so they're both purses and I'm pretty sure you guys are all familiar with them. This is the, um, the Chanel Classic Medium and in caviar and the Chanel 19 in the small size, I think they call it medium size, um, in uh, lambskin in that caramel color. I think this one in particular actually came from 21K collection, but it should be the same color from 21K, MB356 or 365, I can't remember. Um, so I figured that um, a lot of people are wanting to know as far as like the differences in size, what fits inside. Um, so it's just a little bit of a quick snapshot of those. It's not really going to be a very in-depth review because I figured that if um, for those it's going to be a separate um, video. But it's just today for more. Today it's going to be more of a comparison video. Okay, so let's start with this one first. Um, I actually got this one back in I think November of 2021 before their uh, price increase. So at the time of this filming, the price of this particular piece is actually 8800 8, And this is the classic flap in medium size caviar with the gold hardware and that beautiful detailing that chain. So everyone's pretty familiar with them. Um, I particularly store this guy with the organizer so you open it up so you twist it open and this one is a double double flap and it's got that zipper compartment that i don't really use there's nothing i mean I suppose you can put something in here if you really want to but it's very small like there's not a ton of stuff that you can put in there um so i don't really use that one can have a very deep compartment right here, which again I don't really use any use that for anything. So when you open the inside flap, you see that burgundy lining, and I actually have it with the Zumoni organizer, and I believe this particular color is the burgundy one. And so take it out. The inside is that beautiful burgundy and this particular one is actually um, the one when they started transitioning to those microchips so this one doesn't come with the authentication authenticity card anymore um, but it comes with a chip okay so it has that back pocket right there um i very rarely use this if ever don't really put a lot of stuff in here just because i don't really want to stretch the letter out but I can probably put like a piece of paper, cash, um, something that's not very, very thick so that you don't, you know, necessarily stretch the letter out. But, so, put it right here. And I like to use organizer just because um, the purse itself is very expensive and I, I'm not really careless with my purse and I'm really careful about what I put in there, but you, I just don't want to risk damaging the inside just in case you know something spills so sanitizer lip balm things like that so i like to actually protect the inside of it okay and just close that like so okay and just like that all right so Versus, you know, so I figured I'd show the purses first and then we can see what can fit inside. Um, I have a couple of things that I would usually bring on the daily base on a daily basis. Um, maybe I won't I necessarily don't bring as much, but I want to show you guys how much you can fit inside of ever. Okay. So and then this one is the um, Chanel 19 in a small size. So 
This one is only one flap, which is very convenient to use. And we have that back pocket, which is a very functional pocket. Got some more tea open. That. Yeah. Um, I definitely can put my phone in here. I have the iPhone 13 Pro Max, which I'm using to actually film, but um, later I'll show you guys what I can fit in here. Like, um, as far as like, you know, this uh, iPhone 13, it fits really well. It fits really, really comfortably. So it has a separate type of handle. I really, really like this handle because it's super handy. Um, and this one has that nice long leather chain. So I usually use this one either holding it like this or crossbody. I'm not a fan of shoulder bag. Like to put it in my shoulder, just like one shoulder, I usually like to put it crossbody. So, oops. Okay, and then you open it, so twist just like the other one. But this one is just one flap. The leather, guy, uh, the leather by the way, is very, very soft. It's like pillow. And so I just want to snuggle with it sometimes. So you open it, it's that brown leather interior. And I have that same Zimoni organizer. Okay. Um, yep. So it has that metal plate right there. Chanel, so Chanel has that microchip. And then has one zipper on the inside. I really don't put anything in there too because I do use the organizer a lot so it's most of the time covered um, but I do like this one a lot because it's very easy very um, it's plus free to use basically I don't think I have shown what the inside of this looks like but there's no zipper or anything on the main compartment. It's just that two slit pockets right here, which I don't really use. And then the lipstick pocket, I think, or lip balm if you want to use that. Um, okay, so measurement. For the classic flap, um, has six inches in length. Oh, no, six inches in height 9.9 inches 9.9 .9 inches length 6 inches height and then 2.5 inches width okay versus the Chanel 19 this guy right here is 6.2 in height 10.1 inches in length and 3.5 inches in width. So um, dimension wise, this looks bigger. Um, you can also put a little bit more inside and I think it has something to do with not, not only that, it's actually bigger in dimension, but um, it's single flap. So you can fit a lot more stuff in there compared to the classic, classic flap. Um, what else? This is really heavy though. Like the chain in itself is very heavy. So at first, when you when you when the bag is empty like this, it's not really bad. Um, however, I don't necessarily think that the that it's too heavy. It's doable. It's not one of those things where it would deter you from using it because it's too heavy unless you put a lot of stuff in here, right? Um, but for what I use on a daily basis, I don't find it to be heavy at all. And I really, I'm, every time that I use it, it really makes me happy. So there's that and it comes with the mixed metals. So you get like that aged gold hardware throughout. And then what do you have that? I don't really know what to call this, like the shiny gunmetal. And then you have the H silver hardware. So it's a mix of of stuff. And then you got that leather right here. And then this one has a leather weaved in the metal on the chain. However, once you get to the handle, it doesn't have any, which I think um, 
the new releases right now, so the So Black Chanel 19 actually has a leather even on the handle, which a lot of people have been complaining about because they noticed that. So you see how this one kind of lays nice and flat and belt size. The Chanel 19 So Black um, that came out for 2022 22S actually doesn't lay flat and they think it's like too tight but it seems like a lot all of them are actually like that and people have been saying that it's because of the leather so I like mine like this don't have any problems with it um uh there's no grommets because the um the strap is actually stitched in the back versus This one right here has four grommets. So this one, you can wear it um, multiple ways. You can wear it just shoulder like that. I usually wear it cross body like this. Because I do like, to, I really don't like putting anything shoulder just because my shoulder, it usually, oops, <laughs> it usually fall when I put anything on the shoulder. So I usually like to put it cross body like this. Or you can fold so that it becomes more like that short shoulder. So a lot of ways to use it and it's really cute wearing it like that but I never really, I don't really wear it like that so most of the time it's crossbody for me. Um, versus this one right here, so I usually would wear it like this, I would tuck in the chain inside and just wear it like that and carry it like that. It's really comfortable. Or if I'm going to use the long strap, then I would almost always use it crossbody. Just like that. And it's really comfortable. And I like that. I'm 5'3", I'm by the way. Uh, I like that it hits me just right on the hip. And it's not like any higher or any like lower. So... The, this one kind of sits a little bit higher on me, but I don't mind it at all. No, just a little bit. It's still, it's still fine. It doesn't get in the way or anything like that, but I really do enjoy wearing my classic flap like this. Like this. I like crossbody. They're just a lot more comfortable. Plus free. Okay, so let's get to actually what fits inside. Um, so let's start with this one right here. Okay. Um, so on a daily basis, on a regular basis, what I would normally um, bring is obviously my phone. I never leave the house without the phone. Um, so because I'm using it, I'm using my husband's phone. This is an iPhone 13, just a regular size. And normally I would put that right here this is something that i can easily get in and out now the snap doesn't necessarily close but because this is usually against the body i'm not really concerned about it falling off i don't all obviously i don't carry it upside down so it's really secure and even though this is the 13 the 13 pro max actually actually fits just fine too so it's normally not an issue and then on the inside um, let's see, I always have my key holder, so this is the six ring key holder, let me sort of snap it like that, and it'll fit in there. Um, this is what I'm currently using at the moment, so it's kind of washed out. It's the classic flat card holder, put a ton of cards in there. Actually. That okay, so you can see, and then I have this one. 
So what I like about Zimoni is actually they came with every organizer that you buy. It comes with a little pouch like this. So you can use it to store your um, sanitizer or your eye drops or, you know, your lip balm if you want to. And I would put that right there and just put it right there on the side. Um, AirPods, headphones. If you're carrying an extra sanitizer, you can put that on the side. So I'm going to show you how I laid it out. And then sunglasses with a soft pouch. Put that right there. Okay. So that's what I would normally carry. And it fits. Um, is it heavy? I mean, it's not the heaviest, but it's definitely not light. It's just fun. It's really nice. Okay. So like that. And the sunglasses was obviously here. And it goes just fine. No problem whatsoever. Um, can you put another card holder if you really need to? I mean, yeah, there's a ton of space right there. Fits. You can put an extra aqua for if you're really needing to. And I like I like the Simone a lot because it actually has a ton of compartment and I don't have to worry about where do I put stuff. And even this one, I still have like extra compartments inside and it fits nicely. Like so. Okay. Now, can you take this out and say, use this? Yes, you can. So there's a lot of room to play if you need to. Mm, now, I can't necessarily keep everything and have a big wallet, but if I take this out, and use the big wallet instead. Can it fit? Um, you might have to rearrange it, but I think it would. If you really have to, it can. So right there. It's kind of a little, little bit bulging, but still not bad. Okay. So if I take this out and Say, for example, I have this instead. This is the zip coin purse from Chanel. I haven't used this one yet. Pretty excited when I use this one. Um, and you would put that in place of the wallet. Okay. I used to like, I used to, um, used to like my Chanel's, uh to use as a catch all. So I would put everything here. Put that in place of everything. See that fits. You can still put your keys comfortably. You can still put your key clay if you need to in this black card holder. In this, no problem. Comfortably. Okay. All right, so let's go and move on with this guy. So this is a definitely a lot more of a structure purse. You can put some stuff, but I find that compared to the 19, obviously the 19 is a little bit bigger. This one is a little bit restricted because a it has that double flap that can that definitely limits on limits how much you can put in the bag. Um, so. But it's very structured, so if you like that, then that's good. Um, there's that. So let's see. Let's start putting things. I definitely don't leave my house without the keys. Wallet that I'm currently using. I can see. Okay, put that there. And then your headphones. 
can fit somewhere here. Mm, not the floor. Sanitizer. Okay, so some stuff there. Let's see. Now I can close it, but it is tight and I'll have to like work it out. Um, heavy, not too bad. I think the 19 is still heavier compared to the classic, but it's not terrible. Pick it up. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> Guess what we don't have? The phone. So, um, let's see what we can take out and then see if we can put the phone in. I mean, can we put it in there without having to take out anything? <laughs> you can, but it's pretty much... No, you can't. Yeah, you have to take that. Um... Let's see, we'll take this one out. Take stuff out. Okay. Gosh, it keeps getting um, catching in the water. So we take this. Now it fits. <laughs> I took everything out. Um, obviously, you can put some stuff in the corners. Like right there, you can probably put your sanitizer if you want to. Be very careful if you decide to do that. Um, you can obviously put this on top. Hmm, let's see, maybe we can put our sunglasses down. Yeah, now we can put our sunglasses. Very close, and yes, it will. Okay. Mm, can we use? You can use this instead if you have that. Okay, and then this one, and then you can still use your phone. Got that. Um. Use this if you want for a card holder. You can use put your lip balm. Mm, that kind of edges out. Put your lip balm like this. Have to be there. And you can put this. So your headphones on top. Can you close it? Yeah, a little work, but we can. In case you this one. You, can, you can put it right here with the phone in it already. I guess it's you can. Maybe. Who knows? Nope. Actually, you can't. Okay, no. Mm. I want to take the phone out first. This is, by the way, obviously the 13. The 13 Pro Max will fit. It's just going to be a very tight squeeze. So it fits there, and then you can put the phone afterwards. Okay, and you can still close it. Not too bad. So then you can add a little card holder if you need to. You might not be able to put your sunglasses in here. Maybe. Yeah, it's tight. But that alone will fit. It's kind of heavy. All right, and then will you be able to put, uh, fit your big wallet this out? Put that big wallet. It fits. It's like the only thing that fits. Um, you can clip this. You really have to, although that's gonna kind of bulge out a little bit. 
so if you don't care about the unequal fit, so you can put there. Okay, and there. Oh, and look, I think you will have a space for your headphones. Maybe. Like so. It is a very tight fit. I would not recommend it. Because it's like super larger. But it fits if you really have to use the big one. Okay? All right. So, um, pros and cons of each. It's very pretty. It's very classic. Um, anyone who knows Chanel or history of Chanel will... I guess it doesn't have to be history, but anyone who knows Chanel would immediately recognize this. However, um, oh, and it's very structured. That can be a pro and a con, pro or con, depending on how you like it. Um, the caviar versus lambskin, that's for a different, uh, different video. But the caviar, very sturdy. I feel like doesn't really show scratches whatsoever. Um, it's lighter compared to the Chanel 19. It is, I feel like if you just like to carry your purse, like hanging like that, that's probably a little bit more secure. Although I would not recommend it. You should probably always close your purse because you never know. Um, I never really snap this though. So when I close that, when I close it, I just close it like that and then um, use the snap, or not the snap, the turn lock. And I have to be careful about this one because I don't like it digging in the. You see that right there? So if you are not careful, it can definitely dig into that. But you know, it is first; it's meant to be used. Ah, uh, what else? Really pretty inside. Really structured. Very formal. A lot more formal um, looking than the Chanel 19. Very, I think structured, I already said that, formal looking, very classic, timeless, and all that jazz. Um, cons, definitely the price ever, you know, since they've just been going up and up and up and up in price. I don't think, I don't think they ever come down, so you, it can only go up from here. Um, what else? The size doesn't fit as much as the 19 can, and... I think that's, that's mainly it, price and size. And I guess if you don't like the look of classic. Um, okay. Let's see. Pros, size. It's, it doesn't, it's not humongous, but it definitely fits a lot more stuff. I can honestly say that, I mean, I like both of them, but I have found myself really wanting to use this a little bit more. And I think obviously the color is to die for. Everyone has been wanting the caramel since the very first caramel came out, which is 21P. Um, color is really pretty, but that's not really it because even that, the classic medium, I think will come in caramel to 22S. So the texture is very soft. It's like a pillow. Um, so if you're like very tactile and you like touching your purses and you know stuff like that, that's that's nice. But it makes it feel like it's delicate, although I think it is. I'm very careful about it. I've never really tried to, you know, do anything crazy with it, but I think it's delicate, but I think it's a lot more sturdy than people think it is. Um, compartments definitely has a lot more compartments. I like the back compartment right here, which is very useful compared to the classic flap. It's very easy to get in and out of. You just open it and voila, it's right there. Um, you have a little bit more storage on the inside, even without the organizer. And it's just, you know, it's really easy to dress up or dress down. It is definitely more casual than the, the classic flap. So. It's a casual bag, and it's meant to be a casual bag. Some people might not like the mixed metals. I don't really mind it. When I first saw it, I was like, oh, I didn't know that it actually came in mixed metals. But it grew into me. Uh, it grew on me. I don't really mind it. It's fine. 
makes it easier to pair with other you know, jewelries and stuff. Um, I like that it has this one, so that's one of the pros. I like the handle a lot because I use it like that. Very similar to my Pochette Matisse, which is one of my favorites, actually, probably if, if not my favorite purse of all time. I like the separate handle in this one right here, and I like that this is very comfortable. Although the chain on the classic flop is actually not bad either. I've never had any issue with it. I mean, given all I have to, you have carry it for a long time, so I can't necessarily say that I could carry it all day and not have any issues with it. Might dig into your shoulder, you never know. Cons, oh, price, I guess. If we're talking about prices, probably compared to the classic, this is definitely on the least lesser expensive because they're all expensive. This is the, the least expensive compared of the two because this, um, this is 5700 without tax, minus tax for the small one. I don't remember the big one. Um, the, the color is very pretty, but you have to be careful about what you're wearing with it because it's not dark, you can easily, you can probably easily do have a color transfer if you're not careful. So that's one thing. Um, the, the, the weight can be heavy if you start loading, loading it with a lot of stuff. So you gotta be careful about that. Mm, and the texture, even though it's soft, I feel like compared to the caviar of the classic flop, you have to be a little bit more careful about this one. If there's anything else that you guys wanted to see or know, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, and if there's anything else that you want me to review for the next time, or if you have any ideas of what to do next for my next video or what you want to see, let me know. Okay, thank you so much guys for watching and tuning into this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Um, hope you guys have a good day and see you in the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.